welcome back to my channel. And I have today my best friend, Mercedes Hi Gutierrez. <laughs> now, I have known Mercedes for quite a few years. Do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Murchie? Because well, that's what I like to call you. <laughs> I'm Wendy's best friend, and I'm a jewellery designer. And it's all about crystals. And what do they do? They change your vibration, and they it's a healing range okay and you're wearing one today i am and what moonstone. Is this and what does that do that's sort of um healing feminine energy okay yeah and you've got a little um what a is little that? goddess and what is that that's isis and what does that do <laughs> I mean, it's like... It's, it's, all, like, it's all powerful stuff. Uh, yeah, it's like pulling teeth, trying to find <laughs> out. <laughs> it's all powerful stuff. I mean, Isis is an Egyptian goddess. Yeah. Who's very powerful and protective. Okay, so we say so that's protective. Yes. I've known you for a long time. Many She's my years. best friend. People say we look like sisters. Obviously, I'm the younger one. <laughs> um, That's what you Yeah. <laughs> and I've never really done your makeup, have I? Never. In 30 <laughs> years. <laughs> ever. Because I'm always too busy. <laughs> Maybe you've done it once 20 years ago. Yeah. Well, you know. Well, today, guys, <laughs> I'm going to do it for her. Now, Mercedes likes to think that she looks like Angelina Jolie. <laughs> and she does a little bit, but today... Matthew, I'm going to make her Victoria Beckham because I have to do that. Exciting. Yeah, and this is, this is a little bit of Victoria look for you. Yeah, it is. Little silk shirt, little fitted jeans. <laughs> okay, so guys, come with us. And this is how to get the Victoria Beckham look or, you know, as an everyday person. See what it looks like Let's on see. you. Let's I'm go. Excited. Exciting. Let's go. This is how to get the Victoria Beckham look, or the celebrity look as we like to call it. Curl the lashes, add mascara, make sure you get right to the root, zigzag motion, coat on each side of the lashes. Do underneath, I like to do this first, because if I make a mess, I can sort it out without ruining anything else I've done. I use a cream, dark brown, black, pencil I push this into the lash line and take it out slightly this is going to create a nice smoky eye just around the lash line it's not heavy I add a light contour into the socket line just to create some depth a slight bit of shadow this will be easy for you to blend now I'm going to use a slightly darker one in the corner and just into the mid socket line. This is creating this cat's eye feel. So again, we're just creating some shadow and an overall tone. And then we're gonna add a darker color just in the corner to the mid socket line. And I'm gonna brush this out with a dry brush and just take it out to the sides of the eye. This starts to create this cat-like feline feel very sexy now i'm going over it with a powder with an angled brush like a mid brown just going all over the eye and here i'm just going to take a deeper darker brown just in the corner this will intensify your feline face now i'm going to take the pencil under the eyelashes really push it in between and then blend it out with a dry angled brush so they meet together to create this feline cat's eye but it's very soft now i'm going to need to set that under the eye so i'm using like a mid brown everything will always looks slightly darker under the eye so don't go too dark you've already got the pencil underneath you're just setting now i'd like to add a dark brown just to pull everything together this is like a super sexy look and a fine false lash with a super fine eyeliner 
take it out slightly to the size and also this will be good for you to feel so you can't see the lashes where they connect it must be undetectable now I'm contouring the face I'm adding a light bit of warm blush I'm actually sculpting the face now I'm bringing the forehead in a bit I'm giving more definition to the cheeks I want a really sharp jawline so just blended this in with a dry brush and you can do all of this before foundation now I'm doing a highlight with a sheer concealer down the nose the top of the bow and on the chin this is everything I want to stand out now I'm going to add a foundation and I like to do this with a brush and it should be a liquid foundation this will put it all together this is very chic now I'm creating a shadow for the brow I work with what I've got already I just intensify the area it just makes it look that little bit more but still believable now I'm going to add in some singular hairs but this is all quite soft Now I'm going to finish it off, I'm going to powder anything I don't want to be too shiny or any imperfections, like definitely round the nose. I'm going to add a blush and a lip contour, this is a nice nude. Can't make mistakes and I just like to have that little bit of lip cushion in the end. So thanks for coming in, Mercedes. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, do you like the look? I absolutely love it. So I think you need to do it more often, quite uh, frankly. Don't think that'd be happening. <laughs> thanks for coming. <laughs> if you've got any questions, uh, let us know. We're going out tonight, right? Yeah, definitely. I think no, I need she a looks drink. Than me. <clears throat> okay, see you later. <laughs> She's doing a selfie. <laughs> Bye.